Reef Rescue Program is essentially about um, providing support and assistance to farmers and graziers to make practice changes. Um, those practice changes are essentially about improving uh, the health of our waterways and the Great Barrier Reef, but they're also about providing productivity and, um, and farm um, income improvements as well. The value of partnerships is, uh, is really evident to me. Uh, dairying, like a lot of other agricultural industries, has been a pretty hard gig for the last few years. If we hadn't had some assistance to get this project done, we wouldn't have been able to do it. Since its inception, what we've encouraged traditional owners to do is look at their own sea country and how they might manage that sea country from their perspective as the traditional owners, the original traditional owners. We've got cultural mapping programs up in the Cape and we've got some great scientific programs with traditional owners down in the Gladstone area. The need for that capital development on property here to get the outcomes that I wanted to was, was extremely important to me and extremely beneficial. Because there are huge benefits out there, looking after the reef, looking after the environment. So I, I, couldn't, I couldn't recommend it more highly. I think it's, it certainly helped my bottom line and, and uh, made, made management a lot easier. Bananas is Australia's most important horticultural crop and quite a lot of uh, fertilisers are used in this industry and we're relatively close to the reef but we're trying to improve the efficiency of fertiliser use here in the banana industry as well as reduce the losses to the environment. It's a cane farm. Uh, we produce approximately 150,000 tonne of sugarcane and we do uh, legume fallow crops. I feel that we're doing our part to keep the reef preserved and hopefully um, other farmers will follow our lead to save the reef. <laughs>